Good morning, guys. Yeah, we've been hanging out all morning at H&M Landing because guess what? The fish are biting. Yeah, that's right. You heard it. I have Frank, who's been here all morning with us from H&M Landing. And this is, I, we're not going to say unprecedented, but it is, it's a good time of year. If you want to come out fishing, you're seeing the fish are biting in the big. Absolutely. It's an extraordinary time of year to go fishing, Allie. It's fall. It's our nicest weather, both on and offshore. The loads are light on the boats, and look at these incredible catches here. The Sea Adventure 80 just got in this morning yeah. off of a multi-day trip. They've brought some fish to the scale that are close to 200 pounds. Uh, these are fish that typically uh, we, we don't have access to, but the last couple few years, yeah. we've had some incredible, incredible success on these larger bluefin, and it's not showing any sign of letting up. Yeah, because that's something you were saying is that they really like the warm water uh, some of these fish so a lot of times usually around October beginning of October they're saying goodbye but the last couple of years they've stuck around right and we'll see some of these species start to retreat south as that warmer water does recede back down uh, to lower latitudes in Mexico but we feel very confident this larger bluefin will stick around it has for the last few years there's plenty of feed offshore and that means opportunity for our anglers here at H&M that want to go offshore in pursuit of a fish of a lifetime. Well, because this is a little bit later in the season, right? Because usually October, the end of October, you're wrapping up the season. It is. Uh, for some of the shorter trips, we are. Um, then the long-range season kicks in, right? The trips yeah. that are like 10 and 15 days. But right now, our boats are still running overnight and day-and-a-half trips, and they're in pursuit of some of these trophies. So October's a great month. And don't forget... Also, on our half-day trips, kids fish free in October. Uh, which is really, really cool. So if you have a kid who hasn't caught fish before, I, I wonder if I would count as a child. I need, I need to make my mom come <laughs> take me. You're stretching. Um, so, well, but this is really cool. So what, are, what kind of fish that we saw come in today were obviously a lot of tuna, but some sheephead, some different things. Right. So this was a multi-day trip, and the guys mixed it up a little bit. They were offshore. Uh, fishing for the pelagic species like the bluefin, the yellowfin tuna, dorado. Um, I saw some skipjack and yellowtail in the mix. And then we see some of these colorful fish. They were on one of the offshore banks. Those are sheephead. So they actually had a very, very well-rounded experience. Yeah, that is really interesting. And it looks like this right now almost every day on your docks. It's got to be, it's incredible to see how many people are going out and catching this kind of fish. It is, Allie. It feels more like August than it does October. It really is incredible. And it's nice to see. Um, we're, we're experiencing some of the best fishing of the season right now. Wow, that is really interesting. All right, get your picture. Tell your story. I caught a fish this big. Guys, I'm going to send it back over to you.